Palm Sunday is a celebration of the day that Jesus entered Jerusalem and was greeted by his followers. It occurs on the Sunday before Easter and signifies the beginning of the last week of the Lenten season. You can celebrate Palm Sunday by attending a church service or taking part in other traditions too. Observe the holy day. So, we are going to watch about the how to celebrate Palm Sunday. Method 1. Attending a church service. First is visit a church that holds a celebratory service on Palm Sunday. Some Christian congregations don't have special services on Palm Sunday. If you want to celebrate, search online for a parish near you that is doing a bigger celebration. Use words like, Christian, Palm Sunday, celebratory service, and your location in your search. To get the best results, if you're not interested in going to a church of a different denomination, look for a different congregation of your denomination that is having a celebratory service. Step 2 Participate in a processional before or after the service. Most churches remember Jesus' arrival in Jerusalem by having their own parade to reenact the event. During the parade, carry your palm or branch and sing along or take time to quietly think about the life and death of Jesus. Some churches also use the parade to honor important people in the parish, like good Samaritans and visiting pastors. Since palms were traditionally used to represent a high-ranking or royal person, Step 3 Reflect upon the similarities between yourself, Jesus, and the disciples. One of the best parts of attending the church service on Palm Sunday is hearing the story of Jesus. Experience in Jerusalem. Think about how you exhibit both good and bad traits, like loyalty, self-sacrifice, betrayal, love, and contradiction, in your everyday life. Notice how the liturgy of Palm Sunday mirrors your life and emotions. It's important to explore both the good and bad emotions and traits in the story of Jesus. Persecution. The liturgy is meant to highlight how even good people can betray those that they love. Take time to consider Jesus' sacrifice for even those people who betrayed him. And think about how you can integrate some selfless actions like these in your everyday life. Finally, sing, Hosanna, to express your joy at the arrival of Jesus in Jerusalem. Throughout the service and processional, you may hear shouts of, Hosanna, and singing. Follow along in the songbook to see the words to the song. And feel free to sing even if you don't have the best voice. Use the song to express your joy and appreciation in the name of Jesus. You might also hear shouts of, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, which is also a popular saying on Palm Sunday. Method 2. Celebrating outside of church. First is read Matthew chapter 21 verses 1 to 11 to learn about Jesus' arrival in Jerusalem. This passage of the book of Matthew relays the story of Jesus' arrival in Jerusalem as it's Remembered by the Apostle Matthew. Consider how this short passage describes Jesus as the prophet of Galilee and depicts him as an honorable king who is extremely loved by his followers. It's also important to keep in mind that Jesus was arrested in Jerusalem just days after arriving there, and many of the followers who greeted him turned their backs on him. Step 2 Decorate the grave of a loved one In many areas around the world, Palm Sunday is used as a time to remember the important and honorable people who have passed away. Place branches, flowers, and palms at their resting place, and take time to remember their life. If your loved ones don't have a grave, simply spend time reminiscing on your time with them. Think about their positive traits and what made them a good person. And consider how their experiences in life may have been similar to your own. Step 3 Display your palm in your house to remember Jesus' importance. If you go to a Palm Sunday service, you can continue celebrating at home by saving the blessed palm from the service. Place it on a mantle or above a doorway so you can see it every day and remember Jesus' sacrifice. If you don't plan to display the palm in your home, you can normally leave it at the church, where it will be burned to make ashes for the next year's Ash Wednesday celebration. You should never throw away a palm that you receive at a church service, since they are considered blessed to make other palms smaller. You can fold it into a cross and place it somewhere where you'll see it every day. Finally, visit a museum to see imagery of the Passion of Christ. Jesus is one of the most depicted figures in Western art. Take a trip to a local museum to view artists' depictions of the life and death of Jesus. Consider how images of Jesus might differ and why Jesus is depicted in the way that he is. Keep in mind that depictions of Jesus' death can sometimes be quite graphic and may not be suitable. 
for younger children who are easily frightened. We hope it is useful to you. Please subscribe to our channel to upskill yourself.